working on putting a washing machine in. We bought this um, Giantex, Giantex washing machine. Doesn't dry, but it does wash. Um, gross. But we didn't want to take out the um, head and close up all of the through holes. So we're leaving all of that in, but we created a cabinet made out of PVC um, for it to sit on top of, and I'm rigging it up right now. I don't know how it's gonna go because it's totally homemade, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing. All right, so first, here is About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts So I am about to go and measure the aft aft port side aft port side head because we are putting in a washing machine in there it's not a washer dryer um, just a washing machine but we're excited about that and um, we're keeping the actual toilet in there um, and building a cabinet that will sit over the top of it so that we can put the washing machine on top of that so here I go to measure space down there and then the washing machine will sit on top of that and kind of be strapped in using this towel bar which is pretty sturdy so that we don't have to add any new holes um, yeah but I want to make it look you know decent so I'm gonna get to measuring Measure. All right, so first, here is the cabinet, and it's got kind of like this I don't know, I'll zoom in and see if you can see it kind of like a mesh pattern screen um, just to keep air flowing in there, and then really just a frame behind it, nothing fancy at all. In fact, really quite amateur but we tried to avoid any rubbing of these pipes and stuff like that and then I've rigged up using some cam jams and some um, really no stretch bungees they don't stretch very much um, onto the pole that's the towel holder that, so we didn't have to put any new holes into the wall to like hold this in place along with a couple of other things so and then we're also going to be strapping the washing machine um, to against the wall as well using similar approach which I'll show you but yeah so this is step one and then and then this there'll be a platform here which I'll show you in a minute we finished installing the washing machine on the pedestal that we built and as you can hear, we are running our first load through the washer. 
we secured it to the towel bar um, at the back of the, the wall there and hooked up the water from the sink um, in the HUD, which worked out really nicely. So we just have a hose that runs to the sink and kind of stays hooked up permanently. And then we plug it in when we need it. It has a hose that we just hook outside of the port pipe to discharge the water when it's on the spin cycle. Um, it does work pretty well, but it is kind of water intensive, but so far so good. Um, we like it. Life on board is really rewarding, but it's also really hard. Um, and I mean, maybe it'll get easier, but like right now, adjusting to life on board, I feel, there are moments where I feel super like excited about what we're doing, the projects that we're doing, or when I have successes homeschooling the kids. And then there are other moments where, and maybe it's just because I don't have a routine or I know that like being in the marina is temporary and I don't know what it's going to be like when we don't have shore power or don't have air conditioning, all those things. But there are times where I sort of feel a bit overwhelmed or nervous um, and just decisions that we have to make, like whether or not we should have um, the netting up around the lifelines for the dog and for Adler and just for safety purposes. A lot of people say don't do it. Some people say do do it. So I don't know. There's just moments where I feel kind of overwhelmed with all the decisions that we have to make right now. Um, but again, there are other moments where I just feel like elated to be in this position, um, to be sharing this experience with my family and to be taking this time with each of them every day and I feel very grateful for that.